In this video, we're going to talk about how to stream from the Xbox dashboard using Lightstream. The first step is to connect your Twitch account to your Xbox. For those coming from the Xbox Twitch app, the account is likely already linked to your Xbox. If not, you'll want to ensure that you've added your Twitch channel to your linked social accounts under the account area of your Xbox settings. To go live, you'll use the Xbox button on your controller to open the dashboard menu. Then use the right bumper to tab over to the capture and share settings and select live streaming. You'll want to go ahead and name your stream and you can do that here by clicking stream name and giving your stream a title. Next is setting up your microphone. This is where you can toggle on and off if you want your Xbox headset audio to be included into your stream or to not be included. Next are the camera options. Add your camera here and control the placement on screen choosing where you'd like to place it on your stream. Under more options, you have audio and other settings to choose, things like party audio. Enabling this allows your audience on Twitch to hear your party members in your Xbox dashboard party chat. You can also control the game volume or the actual levels of how loud your game audio is to your stream. Here you can also control the level of your microphone volume going to your stream as well. Here is where you will set the resolution and bitrate of your Xbox broadcast. You'll want your Xbox stream settings to match your gamer project from Lightstream. And just so you know, all Xbox streams are encoded at 30 frames per second. So make sure you understand that when choosing the right plan. The next step is adjusting the overlay. This is where you set the position and display of the Your Live overlay from Xbox, showing how long you've been live or your viewer count. You can adjust the position on screen similar to your camera, the difference being it only shows locally to the streamer on their TV or the monitor that the Xbox is plugged into. You can also set the display settings to either be a more simplified, compact look or a more extensive, expanded view. You also can adjust the transparency. Be sure to hit the done button after making adjustments here. Last is choosing the destination. This is where you'll tell the Xbox dashboard to send your broadcast. With Twitch selected, it goes directly to your channel as normal. But with Lightstream selected and an active gamer subscription, it will send it to your gamer project, adding overlays to your game before sending it back to your Twitch channel for your viewers. And once all of your settings are done, click the go live button and allow your viewers to enjoy awesome overlays and your Twitch stream straight from your Xbox. For more videos centered around our gamer projects, make sure you click the playlist on the screen now. We'll see you over there.